Penelope from Apex is asking, is it true that weight loss uh, or that weight issues tend to be genetic and can make it harder for some to lose weight than others? And the answer is yes, absolutely. Penelope will, um, or excuse me, genetics will play a huge role, Penelope, in our ability to gain weight or lose weight. It can make it more difficult to lose, harder to, um, harder to uh, keep off once you've lost it. So genetics are absolutely a role. Um, and a lot of us know this, right? We, we know that if we struggle, generally we're not the only one in our family that struggles. And we see um, this happen in families where many individuals will struggle with their weight. Just like sometimes there's genetics with certain types of cancers or there's a lot of diabetes or blood pressure in a family. Weight is no different. It's a chronic medical condition okay. that has genetic um, and environmental influences. That's exactly right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. So the... Uh... And, and, you know, um, I think that that's another thing, I think, over the next 50 or 100 years, it's going to become very apparent. But this idea of, you know, we assume that we just get our genetics from um, passed down from our ancestors, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And from our mother and father. But uh, there's also something called epigenetics. And so your interaction with things in the environment can actually change your genetic code. This is the scary part, yes. right? And uh, particularly when it comes to things that you eat and drink, mm -hmm. all right? These things apparently can interact, some of them, with your genetic code. Mm -hmm. It can turn on these genes that promote obesity, yeah. right? Yeah. So think of your genes as having a switch, an on and off switch. Mm -hmm. And the ones, so like everyone's, you know, if you th simplistically think about it, everyone's got a genetic ability to be obese, mm -hmm. right? So our ancestors survived. Yes, and so, health. and there's like an on and off switch to those genes. Now imagine the things that you're doing are flipping those switches, mm -hmm. you know? And so, uh, boy, when you look at that body of information that's coming out of the world of maternity, mm -hmm. child in the womb, mm -hmm. mother rocking the pickles with pancake syrup or whatever, this sort of thing can turn those genes on and off in the child yes. and doom them to a life of obesity, right? And so uh, I think from a public health standpoint, things are going to look a lot different 50 years from now because we're going to have a really good idea about what things are doing mm -hmm. this. Uh, and, you know, to promote public health, there'll be a list of things. Don't eat this, for example, while you're pregnant. Mm -hmm. Don't eat or drink these things, right? And so that's where I see it all going in the long term. Yeah, I, I sure hope so. I completely agree.